In this video, we're going to start working on some CUDA software worksheets. So go to the free worksheets under the CUDA software website, go to Infinite Algebra 1, and select Order of Operations. I'll leave a link below for that. We're going to start with number one. And on this worksheet, we're simply evaluating each expression. So at the top of your page, order of operations goes parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So go ahead and write PEMDAS. And again, one more time, we're going to do parentheses first. So evaluating everything within the parentheses, then exponents, which this sheet has no exponents, so we won't have to worry about that. Then moving on to multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So looking at problem one, we're going to start first. We have parentheses, so evaluate what's inside of the parentheses. That's going to be six plus seven. So six plus seven is 13. So we have three times 13. Three times 13 is going to give us 39. So 39 is our answer for number one. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. Now we can actually evaluate number two in three ways. Let's start with the first way. There are no parentheses, so multiplication is our only operation. And we're multiplying twice, but remember, multiplication is So, we can do 5 times 3 first, 3 times 2 first, or 5 times 2 first. Let's start by doing 5 times 3. 5 times 3 gives us 15, and we're left with times 2. 15 times 2 is equal to 30. So 30 is our answer. The other way to get 30, first, let's do 3 times 2. That's going to give us 6. So we have 5, since the 5 is left over, times 6, and that as well will give us 30. And last but not least, we could also do 5 times 2 to start. 5 times 2 will give us 10, and we're left with this times 3. 10 times 3 is 30. So either of those three ways will help you get to your answer of 30. Let's move on to number three. Number three, we have two different operations. We have division and we have addition. But remember, according to the order of operations, PEMDAS, we're going to do anything with multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. So division, comes before addition. Therefore, we're going to do 72 divided by 9 first. We know that 72 divided by 9 is going to give us 8, since 8 times 9 is 72. So we're left with plus 7. 8 plus 7 is going to give us 15. So 15 is our answer for number 3. Let's go ahead and move on to number 4. Again, we have two different operations. We have addition and we have multiplication. But multiplication comes before addition in the order of operations. So that means we're going to do seven times five first. So seven times five is going to give us 35. And we're left with adding two. So two plus 35 is going to give us 37. So 37 is our answer for number four. And as you notice, I like to box my answers just to keep them separate from the rest of my work. But the box is obviously not necessary. Now number five, again, we have two different operations. We have addition, and we have subtraction. But if you remember in PIMDAS, 
parentheses is first, then exponents, then multiplication or division, and lastly, addition or subtraction. So whether we do addition first or subtraction first doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do this two ways just to demonstrate that. So let's start with 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8 is going to give us 17. Then we're left with minus 7. So 17 minus 7 is going to give us 10. So 10 is our answer for number 5. Let's look at another way we can do this. Instead of doing 9 plus 8 first, let's do 8 minus 7 first. 8 minus 7 leaves us with a positive 1. So then we're going to have 9 plus 1, which again gives us 10. Now there's actually one more way we could do this if we chose to. We could start by doing 9 minus 7 because the minus is associated with this 7 and this 9 is actually positive. So 9 minus 7 would leave us with 2 and then all we have left to do is add the 8 and that would also give us 10. And let's go ahead and move on to number 6. Number 6 we can see has two different operations, division and subtraction. But in the order of operations, division comes before subtraction. So we're going to do 32 divided by 4 to start. 32 divided by 4 gives us 8. So then we have 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 gives us 1. So 1 is the answer to number 6. Moving on to number 7, we have parentheses. And remember, parentheses always come first. So we're going to evaluate what's inside of those parentheses to start. So even though 5 is multiplied to the 10 minus 1, we have to do what's in the parentheses first. So 10 minus 1 leaves us with 9. So we'll have 5 times 9. 5 times 9 is going to give us 45 as our answer. Let's look at number 8. Number 8 also has parentheses. So even though this is division and this is addition, we're going to do the addition first since it's within these parentheses. So 4 plus 4 gives us 8. So now we have 48 divided by 8. 48 divided by 8 gives us 6. Since 6 times 8 equals 48. So 6 is our answer to number 8. Now number 9 looks a little bit trickier, but just remember you have to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. For this we have two sets of parentheses. We first have this outer parentheses and then we have these inner parentheses. So we're going to start with the inner parentheses and work our way out. So we're first going to evaluate 10 minus 8. That's going to leave us with 20 divided by 4 minus 10 minus 8 is a positive 2. So we have 20 divided by 4 minus 2. Now we're going to do the last set of parentheses, 4 minus 2. That's going to leave us with 20 divided by 4 minus 2, which is a positive 2. So our answer is 10. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And let's do one more for this video. We're going to stop at 10, but I'll continue on in another video and do numbers 11 through 20 and then finish off with numbers 21 through 26 in the third video. So this number 10 is going to be our last expression evaluated. We're going to start with parentheses. So 5 minus 3. That's going to leave us with 40 
divided by 4 minus 5 minus 3 is 2. So now we're looking at two different operations, division and subtraction. Remember, division comes before subtraction in the order. Remember PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. So we have our 40 divided by 4, which leaves us with 10, and we have minus 2. So 10 minus 2 is 8. So 8 is our answer for number 10. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get updates of when I come out with new videos. Also, continue on to the next video to see numbers 11 through 20 on this Algebra 1 free Kudo software worksheet order of operations.